What's up? <laughs> so the two runners for this match are Underwater Smoking and Tyler. 2022. What can we expect from him, Scout? And Tyler. Well, Tyler is, uh, like uh, like Plywood said, a uh, pretty experienced veteran before uh, some newer runners came onto the scene. Tyler was... Uh, one of the the runners that was quite consistently in the top spot. Um, I haven't seen much of underwater smoking, but you know, it's it's marathon. Anything can happen. I haven't seen much of underwater smoking. I'm trying to log on to the it's our DC boards to see kind of see what their times are. Let's see, just their PBs kind of. Although yeah, PBs don't really give you the full story because when it comes down to these runs it's all about knowing your backups yeah you can't just uh reset when something goes wrong so pbs kind of give a general picture but it's definitely not the the end all be all yeah that well, looks like we're going to the countdown mm -hmm. hey what's up joe funny enough for the longest time, I thought Joseph Joestar's real name was Joseph. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> I was disappointed. All right. So, for those of you that watched the runs yesterday, um, you'll you'll be familiar with this. The first ten to fifteen minutes of the run is just extremely cutscene and codec heavy because it's tutorials and just loads of story laid out. And with it being very easy as well, there's, uh, there's a bunch of different strats and uh, and things to do. So like you see Tyler there just took the guard straight out, whereas US just tanked the shot and went for it. Yeah, nothing much going on at the beginning. Just go up to Olga. Uh, yeah. The one good thing about very easy is that alerts don't carry over to the next room, so your main objective is just clear the room as fast as you can don't worry too much about being spotted yeah which opens up a bunch of different strats which makes very easy like significantly faster than right <clears throat> than other difficulties because you know, like there's so much less dependency on backup strats like your worst case scenario is you need a backup strat for a single room whereas with other difficulties if you get an alert in one room you could be on backup strats for four to f four five six rooms until born. you finally get to a point where you can clear that alert field, did underwater smoking miss a shot and uh, see that i think like he it. might have missed one but let's see if they can recover i have no one nothing except the unit neck here just yeah, underwater smoking. Tyler needs one um, more shot. There. Oh, did he miss that one? He missed that one. Ah, there we go. There we go. Underwater got smoking it. just ahead. Pretty close. So, so what? I'm not a. Uh, I don't know how much very easy experience you have, Scout, but I I don't have too much except for just watching yeah. the streams and kind of um, the commentators going. Providing their commentary from yesterday, so I think I know what's going on, but uh, by no means <laughs> am I an expert at the run. Uh, but I do enjoy watching this and just learning, and I might be very easy to try. Yeah, I think I think following this tournament, when I eventually get back in to MGS2, I'm gonna go on VE for a little bit because some of the strats look quite interesting. Like, there's some rooms that are done totally different to normal. Mm -hmm. Like with engine room, you get a caution on purpose and just roll through all the guards instead of doing the fancy movement of shooting him and then running around the other side that he doesn't turn to. So it seems like a very interesting category. And less like stress more, with bosses. Yeah, a much more relaxing run to do compared to very easy. It seems like the biggest time saves in... The biggest time losses are going to come from bosses. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the... engine room. Let's go. Oh, underwater smoking decides to drop onto the. Do the classic strat. Yep, the Euro Extreme strat. D Tyler pull just slightly ahead of him with that. 
And this is what this is where I was on about just now. You'll see the two different strats. So Underwater Smoking is doing the the old school European extreme strat, whereas Tyler's doing the VE strat where you just roll through all the guards. And then you will Tyler will or Underwater Smoking will get a little cutscene, but you're just gonna ignore that, skip it. Yeah. Usually with, with other difficulties, you're extreme normal. There's a guard up there that you would actually shoot with the M9. And then, because he turns to the right, you run on the left side of him. And then you shoot uh, intentionally with the SOCOM. So it's a loud shot, the guard gets alerted for a second. And then when he's on the radio, it's just the right amount of time for you to skip that little cutscene. So it's it's a lot better for your extreme and stuff like that, because you don't tank the shots. Braun, very easy, you've got health to spare. More than very, that MGS2, very easy, kind of reminds me of uh, MGS4 run. Because you're not really worried about dying as much. Yeah. It's just more, get through the areas fast, don't worry about caution or alerts or um, enemies too much. And then the yeah. bosses are where the time saves are. And speaking of bosses, quote unquote, bosses, here's the first one. Yeah. Going with the lethal strat, Tyler. Oh, missed some shots. Trying to go for the guy in the back. He gets him. There's a guy on the left remaining. Backup soldiers that'll come out. One, two, three. And then underwater smoking doing the same thing. Pretty neck and neck so far. MC, what's up? Slade, what's up? So this is a room now where we may see um, we may see some slight differences. So this is the first glitch of the run, uh, which would be ladder glitch. But they're just bugging out some animation frames to skip the ladders altogether. So they both got it. Ooh, underwater smoking does a little loop de loop. Doing around. the classic movement. So knowing Tyler, Tyler's probably going to go for the hold up strat here, which is so nice to it's it's so nice to do and to see because it's just so smooth on and on us doing the same yep. funny you call him us i call him uws but it works uh uws is probably probably more accurate to be honest tyler going for two spot and underwater smoking Doing, going for three spot, yeah. So Tyler a little ahead, going into plant, but still and anyone's it, race. Yeah, and and this is where you sort of see like the difference in caliber because Tyler being a, so, like very experienced and in a lot of different difficulties and categories, you'll just see those those slight little optimizations like two spot camera saves. Like a second or two, it doesn't save much time at all. But when you sort of, sort of stack those little optimizations on top yeah. of each other, by the end of the run, you you you're quite far in front. It was the the camera, and then not running around the guard and hold one. Mm. And then um, I don't remember what the other thing was. Ah, oh, the engine the caution room. strat and engine room. Right. Yep. So the little things are starting to add up in uh, Tyler's favor. Yeah, and, and even in the first ten minutes, you're seeing you're seeing that lead pay off already. And and that's the main thing with with this game, which is one of the reasons I enjoyed it a lot. Is once you practice the bosses and get the bosses down, the other ninety percent of the game is just good movement and being consistent. Movement and little tiny menu. Yeah, movement and menu inconsistency. Both got MGSR as the name. I wonder if they're using the same exact file. It wouldn't surprise me because um, I think it was it was D Limes that sent out the practice saves uh, okay. for everyone. <laughs> yeah, because uh, in my runs, in my recent okay. runs, it's MGSR as well because I just use that save pack for practices. <laughs> Every time I watch a, a MGS2 speedrun, I always look at what people put in the name. Some people just leave it blank. Some people actually put their name. Yeah. Oh, it's MGSR. I remember for for a long time uh, it used to say blank because everyone was it, it was it was a lot more competitive um, back then. So like every run, everyone was going for PB twenty four seven. So nobody took the time to just like oh I'll just do a practice yeah, run here well, and 
unname the file. <laughs> you have like the the new game plus saved already. Yeah, you have your name already loaded in. So usually that's yeah. what I do. I'll put my name in like the new game save, and then once you start up a new game plus or a plus plus, then it's just there. <laughs> yeah. All right, slowly making their way out from the rooftops into the pump room. So this is one thing with very easy that's a big difference to any other difficulty is it it gives you the m9 right at the beginning of the game which which helps a lot especially in very easy where one tranquilizer will take down an enemy straight away it just makes movement and backup strats in rooms a lot less stressful tie that up with the guards mm -hmm. very limited field of view which we seen yesterday with Raichu standing right in front of a guard in the sediment pool, and he just didn't see him. <laughs> He's crouched right in front of him, defusing the bomb. So Tyler done with Pliskin, and on his way to Fat Man. There we go. Bomb disposal first, and then... Uh... So, so this is after the next room. Um, we don't see any big cutscenes for a while. We just uh, just have to deal with um, Stillman, mm -hmm. and then it's on to actually opening the game up a decent amount. Then it's it's just the first ten to fifteen minutes, which are not the best when it comes to cutscenes. And then pre-sold us where we've got like. I think if you don't skip that codec call, it's like 15 minutes. It's it's incredibly long, the final codec is. <laughs> Kojima loves his cutscenes and codecs. Oh, Kojima loves it. If only he loved it in 5, but we'll leave that for another day. <laughs> yeah, we, we we can't get into the, the debate <laughs> on, on 5 being unfinished, we'll be uh. here forever. <laughs> That'll be its own stream, but let's check yeah. what's going on as uh, Tyler exits the Stillman meeting, pacing down Pliskin with the box. Now, this that's, is the that's... one thing that's different uh, to yeah. watching it from Euro Extreme Runs is the, the the route they take for the bomb disposal. Yes, that was that was changed uh, in recent years. Because I, I mentioned this briefly yesterday. Oh, you, you would go, we'll see. I was on about yesterday, uh, just now with the guard's limited field of view. Tyler's right in front of him, and he barely sees him. Who's there? Um, no, but as I mentioned yesterday, um, when the run was sort of in its... Uh, when the game was sort of uh, breaking out into newer players uh, about three, four years ago, um, and European Extreme was the main category to run, everyone just blindly integrated... Euro extreme strategies into normal mm. so all of a sudden you were just doing European extreme with easier bosses and because we kept the movement exactly the same it was only like in recent years where people have taken the time out and looked into those strategies and what we can do and then clockwise bombs was found to be a lot faster mm. in pretty much every case and only... we get intentional alerts very easy run I did was all dog tags and like you said all I did was just take the Euro Extreme route and just applied it to very easy. And yeah. it was incredibly slower. <laughs> yeah, because so that's the thing. It works, it's just very slow. Yeah. Because I think a lot of people, including myself, underestimated how big the differences were in like guard placements and stuff like that. And, and field division. Because European Extreme is unforgiving. It is unforgiving with everything. <laughs> Alright, so still pretty close. Looks like Tyler might have created a little more separation just by yeah. movement and just by menuing, because there's not really much to the run from the beginning of plan till now besides just movement and uh menus. Yeah. Cause cause cart like like you can you can see cartwheeling is is the main form of movement. <laughs> But it's one of those ones where it saved, it'll either save you a lot of time or lose you a lot of time just by doing them right. Because once you're in that cartwheel, you're locked <clears> into it. If, you, if you're if ever so slightly closer to the wall and you hit that wall, you've lost a little bit of time. You've lost like a, uh, like a, a few fractions of a second. You do that a few times, it stacks up. 
and because of how much you cartwheeling across the, the course of the run, you can easily lose like 30, 30 seconds to a minute just on bad cartwheels. There's somebody there. Which in marathons like this, especially with the run being just over an hour, can make a lot of difference. Like we're seeing here, Tyler being at this point almost two full rooms ahead of UWS. But like we've seen yesterday with uh, with Raichu having to restart bombs, uh, restart the uh, Fat Man chase, mm. and then with the Stinger, that gap can be closed extremely quickly just from one minor mistake. Also with the the heavier fight on Apache versus Mac, so oh yeah, just a room for underwater to to kind of make up the difference, but gotta pick it up. Yeah, especially when, when competing against a veteran like Tyler that's, like I said, has done this on pretty much every difficulty, has played this game consistently and been consistently good for as long as he has. It's uh, it's definitely a hard competitor for UWS. It's, it's a hard competitor for anyone, really. <laughs> there we go, we've seen with uh, UWS there the... Uh, that one extra cartwheel has just cost him a second, second and a half. And then he's taking... Oh, he's trying to get the bomb. Oh. You gotta be in a specific area to get this bomb from the back. And he's having... Oh, there we go, he got it. There we go. And he did a cartwheel for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's was... what I mean. Yeah, he was already up against the, the railing and just did a cartwheel. And then he didn't get the... Like going prone at the same time either. Yeah. I love All that right. as well. How the guard just spawns in thin air. It's amazing. So one of the the handful of things you'll see uh, with the with the widescreen fix in some some areas you'll just see straight through the uh, the corner of the door. In other rooms, you'll just see all of out of bounds, and then later on in the game you see riding in all his glory. So Tyler looks like he's finishing up <coughs> the last bomb. Backtrack all the way back to the beginning of the plant section. And then we deal with uh, the second actual boss, which would be Fortune. Olga being the first, and then we have the mini boss being Guard Rush. So this is probably where we'll see some real separation. Because to, uh, Fat Man especially is uh, quite RNG with his movements. And, you know, it depends on how long that run has been dealing with that boss fight and dealing with that, those scenarios and how well you deal with them. Yeah, before Fat Man, we'll get to Fortune. And for the longest time, I thought Fortune was just a fixed time. Yeah. Like everyone would just have the same time for Fortune. You can't speed it up and you can't slow it down. Yeah. But you can actually slow it down. Yeah, we, we ran into this uh, a little bit yesterday, um, because for, for those, I, I, I'm not entirely sure how much you know about it, Sparty, but when I when I stopped running this game about two years ago, I spent a lot of time um, looking into it and essentially reverse engineering it to find out how it ticked. Um, and I, we've, I found out a lot of interesting things like that, so uh, how to manipulate AIM's RNG, for example, and um, with Fortune. And I found then that Fortune Timer starts with an object, but I could never figure out what that object was. Um, I don't know who. I think it was Limes, but I'm not entirely sure who. But somebody found out that it's actually the forklift, as well as uh, the, the destruction of the forklift, rather, as well as a handful of other things that influence she checkpoints. Destroys the forklift and then, like, the little lights at the yes. top. Of those... She has to destroy 
I guess you can either make that faster or you can make it slower depending on your movement. Yes, exactly. There's there's little checkpoints that she'll hit after um, as, uh, times. Tyler Here setting up the forklift destruction. She takes one shot to destroy the box in front of it, and then another shot to. There it is. And she just destroys the forklift straight up. So that'd be the the first checkpoint. For and then there's the light fixture in the middle, left, and then the right. Yep. If you're standing too in a certain area, those actually can come down and cause damage to you. Yeah. Because that's the thing, Fortune. The way Fortune set up is is slightly weird. It's essentially sub phases set on loose timers, but because they're sub phases tied to object destructions, we can actually manipulate that fairly easily. We just don't know what all the objects are yet. I think it's the forklift, the light structure, that barrel Tyler's leaning on there, and there may be some more. But those are the ones I know of. I believe that but... barrel on the right is the last one. I can't. Remember. It might be. Exactly. Let's see. Right, so she destroys the barrel to the left side. Oh, the other one is already destroyed. Never mind. And then she's shooting at the ceiling. There we go. That and he's going back to Fat Man, up to the, the second Oof. trip to the heliport. And the last trip to the heliport. So here we go, we see Underwater Smoking taking a much different approach here, where he's just destroyed the forklift and I was sitting in the back right corner. Which is which is slower, because like we mentioned about the checkpoints and sub phases. Not too familiar with the run. If you had any chance um, die from where Tyler is from now until reaching Fat Man, you have to start all the way back to where you initially yes um, completed Fortune. Yes, the timer just resets, which is what happened to Raichu yesterday. <laughs> which is unfortunate, very unfortunate, because it's such a huge time okay. loss. Tyler picking up the claim mother to make his line a bit nicer for the next time around. Nice little setup to pick up that claymore, because I remember when I was running it, I would actually just lay prone a few feet away and slowly inch my way there. Instead yeah. of just card wheeling straight to prone, pick it up, stand back up, you're on your way. And that's a fairly new strat as well, before we yeah. just always used to avoid them. Yeah, people. Like, yeah, I remember when I was learning this, and it wasn't even that long ago. Um, people would going around it, but that yes. killed so many of my runs that I just took the time loss, laid down, and slowly picked it up. And then yeah. when I saw other people running it later on, they actually just cartwheel right into the pickup, which was, <laughs> which was so much nicer. So we see Tyler cracking on with lethal Batman at the minute. So you have to hit him a few times, he falls down, aim for the head. And there we go. And looks like he got him, now he just has to dispose the bombs. And that's it. Nice fight. Nice quick really easy fight. Man. Putting a distance between himself and underwater smoking here. Tell again the nice cartwheel into the codec as well. It like that that's what I'm on about. It doesn't save much time, but it gives you a much better line and saves. In marathons as well. It 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 can put some real distance if you stack stuff like that up, like Tyler's done here. And he's just slowly but surely pulling ahead from underwater smoking at the minute, just with these little optimizations. Oh, we missed the USP ammo there. Hit the little do a little track in there, get it? Alright, let's check out uh, underwaters. Fat Man fight. Fat man. I love the name. We need a boss name for this guy. What should we call him? But Fat, Fat Man. man. <laughs> ah, it works for me. I wonder if in Japanese it's translated to Fat Man also. <laughs> or if it's like translated to something totally different. Alright. Oh. And... Bit more of a sloppy Fat Man. Yeah, let him get away a little bit. I'm not sure why. But got him at the end. Just took a huge turn. So th these little 
miss movements from underwater smoking are really costing him. Yeah. He could have just gone right, but he went like all the way around. And then sloppy menu in as well yeah, to the coolant. Like the coolant, you just have to it's hold R2 and then just tap up once. It's always yep. the same. Instead of just going all the way around. This is uh, one small difference you can see on V as well from Tyler is that you can just uh, get the AK-74 you straight in in the call. You don't need to backtrack to the warehouse to get it. So it just saves that little bit of backtracking, makes it a little bit quicker again. I always wonder if there are other little optimizations like that found where people just copy the Euro Extreme route. Yeah. Uh, I wonder how many other items we just didn't really pay attention to and the spawn points are different. Not just on very easy, but other difficulties. Yeah, for, um, to my knowledge, for the most part, it remains mostly the same. Apart from very easy, which just dumps everything in your way. It, it holds your hand as much as it can because it, it's very easy. That's the, the nature little, of the difficulty. Uh, the M9 placement. Hey. Yeah. Items are not placed where they are in other difficulties. <laughs> yeah. I, I mentioned this yesterday as well because I, I pretty much exclusively played the game on very easy when I was younger because, um, you know, I was I was a kid playing it. So when I played it on normal and started speedrunning, I was like, hey, where's the M9? I had no <laughs> idea where it was. <laughs> oh, I, I love that strat Tyler's just done with the, with the guard where you just line up just right. First person and choke, and you just straight up put them yeah, on the. Uh, uh, Azu was the one who discovered that. Yes. All right, Tyler looking for Ames. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's going down here. It's the only man in He's the going room. Going back up. Uh, a great spawn. But he finds him. Seeing some real distance put on you now. Yeah. So, Underwater Smoking's got to pray for something to go wrong in Tyler's run, whether it's Harrier or something else. Yeah. Be interesting to, to see. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see, because especially if... I, I think when it comes to, like, the swimming section, we could see some, some even more distance or closure being put on it, because knowing Tyler, um, he's more he's probably going to go for Swim Glitch. And he's um, going for Swim Glitch? I think he's going to go for Swim Glitch. If you were this far ahead, would you go for Swim Glitch? Um, it depends. Um, you know, because you're at the thing where, especially for marathons as well, you could go for Swim Glitch and show off something cool being the only time we go out of bounds in the run. And having room to, to breathe. If you mess it up that bad, you've got room to breathe. But at the hmm. same time, if you're on, like, PB pace or something, it could d put you even more PB pace. It could ruin your PB pace. It could let UWS catch up. But I don't know. Hmm. Chad, It'd be interesting to see. Would you swim glitch if uh, you were this far ahead? Swim glitch is free if you practice it. I'm sure he will. He always does it. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's check. It out. Like, that was one thing I, I mentioned to uh, Tyler yesterday, is when I was... I went through a period uh, sometime last year where I was just looking for uh, sequence breaks and skipping prayers and, like, different ways to clip through the vamp door. Um, so I just got super consistent at Swim Glitch because I was hammering away at it, like, four hours a day for, like, two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make you consistent. Yeah, so I just got ridiculously consistent at Swim Glitch. And if I miss it on the first pass, you just... I just come back and get it on the tighter corner by the staircase and push myself up that way instead. If you missed it, uh, Underwater Smoking, he could have made up a little time if he got a great aim spawn, but he got an even worse aim spawn than yeah. what Tyler got. So, didn't help him there. The RNG was not in his side. Yeah, you can see some real distance being put here now. Tyler's probably going to be done with Harrier before Underwater Smoking even gets to the bridge at this point because he has to go to the warehouse first and then oh that's oh, unfortunate. oh <laughs> that was that's so unfortunate bird just got in his way he might actually run out of pentas no no he doesn't he's fine oh peter 
Let's see if Tyler gets uh, 5 plus 1 here now. Alright, so Underwater Smoking's got to hope for uh, something going wrong here for Tyler. 1, 2, 3, 4, and nice five. 5. You can get plus 1. And... Oh. Get it. I think he got no. that one. You missed the plus one, which is unfortunate, but... Some iframes by doing that. Come back up. I'll let you go ammo. Now he's looking for the Harrier. There he is. And... It's GG's. That's Harrier done. So, Underwater Smoking's got to beat that Harrier to kind of close time. And Harry being another big RNG boss fight if you don't know how to deal with it. Because that, that's when I put I put so many hours into practicing Harrier, but I still can't deal with the RNG elements of it. So oh, it's, oh, oh Tyler. Tyler! On the bird. Oh. On the bird poop. So I was like, where's he going? And he just. And that went to right the pipe. there is why I don't go to the pipe, because although it's faster, yeah. that happens a lot. Your movement has to be tight, and then you yeah. have to. Avoid now he's going for the slipping. stairs. All right, now he's going for the stairs. <laughs> it was funny to watch, though. <laughs> the one game mechanic we all curse at some point or another: being able to slip on bird poop. The water smoking. One, two, three. Oh, he doesn't go for that one. No, he just goes for four. four. Okay. Doesn't even go for that shot either. No. So wait for the Harrier to come back around. We encountered the enemy requesting backup. I love this chaff strat. Uh, what the Tyler's doing right now is well, because it skips a cutscene. It's so good. And then just slides through. Mm -hmm. The little equip unequip was different when you're crouching compared to when you're standing up. And what smoking's having some uh, some serious yeah. trouble with Harrier. This is looking more and more like one of my Harrier fights on normal now. And he got him. There we go. The Tyler's frames. Big frame. Yeah. And it's frozen. All you oh. Extreme Rip. caution. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, Tyler's internet. There we go. He's he's slowly slowly Tyler's recovering. It's fighting back for him. I think. Okay. Good now. There we go. It's okay. <laughs> I love I love the comment in Twitch chat. Tyler's going so fast the stream can't catch up. <laughs> <laughs> So this is another instance of uh, VE being very hand-holdy. Uh, in the case of you don't need to go through the underwater maze to find a Nikita, because it's just going to place it right in front of us. So you don't even need to... That's one last thing you need to think about. And because of the hit... Oh, you missed it! You missed it! He had to go back. Okay, now we got it. Little tiny mistakes from Tyler... Looks like it's not gonna matter too much just because of the distance he's already put. If uh, if underwater smoking plays well though, and Tyler keeps making those little mistakes, yeah. we can see him come back. And Tyler's stream. Oh, there it is. There we go. Oh, it's cutting in and out again. Okay. We're good. What are you doing? I gotta love the, the very easy Nikita route uh, for that box. You just shoot it straight through. Up time. We've been live like 35 minutes. Yeah. Hopefully. This is the first uh, run of today. There will be the many. Last preliminary coming. race. Brackets. 
Yeah, because we've got the last preliminary race, which is this one, and then it's going straight through to all of the quarterfinals. There's the Moolah just posted the schedule. Lord. And getting the Nikita. Snake, I took these photos half an hour ago. Now we'll see if uh, if Tyler's gonna go for swim glitch. It's it's one that this that's good to see. It's really good to see swim glitch because it's it's a big time save, especially if you get it first try. Because you skip two cut, you skip a cutscene, two codec calls, and you skip all of the routing of having to go through that maze. You can just take a straight line to the load zone, and it's the only time we actually get to go out of bounds. Doing? What's the time save for like one cycle swim glitch? Are we talking like 20 to 30 seconds? I think it's part? about that. I haven't measured it in a while, but it's, it's about Tyler's that. going for it. He's going for it. Oh, looks like he... Oh, he just misses it. Hmm. Going for Still it again. Good, Still good though. Still good though. Oh, he's just not high enough. And... There we go. Perfect. Perfect. But even that is still a time save over just it's standard. Cool. Yeah. We've got to deal with the, the camera. There we go. And that's some glitch. <laughs> just skip a bunch of cutscenes. Skip the Kodak. Now you just shoot vamp. And vamp. Oh, you don't shoot <laughs> vamp directly. You shoot the, the you shoot ground. The water. Yeah. Some splash damage. Get it? Splash damage. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's one, one of the few tricks with the Stinger that's actually easier to perform on PC. Because on every other platform you have to deal with the Stinger lag, which for Harrier makes setting up 4 and 5 shot a lot easier. Um, but with Vamp, it actually makes it harder. Because on PC, I think... You can just use a metronome of, I think, it's 140 BPM, I found. That just makes it super consistent. But then, because it's Stinger lag on other platforms, it, that's the thing though. It's not just spam. It has a slight element of timing, because you need to hit him in a specific animation. There we go, and we'll see just how much yeah, so uh, underwater smoke uh, has to go through right now. He's not doing the swim glitch, and you'll see the difference of what the two are. Um, so here, he has to open this door. And by opening this door, he's going to trigger a cutscene that he has to skip. It's waste a bunch of time. Then he has there to go, go through here. And there's another door to open. And then he's going to get a codec call. At the top of the stairs, yeah. Yeah, once he emerges from the water. Here, so what do you do? Yeah, you can just uh, kind of bypass all that and go straight to the, the vamp fight. Yeah, you need to see the two runners passing each other here yeah? <laughs> as well on the way back. Water smoke, getting the splash damage to vamp, and that's it. So yeah, Tyler's making his exit with Emma while... I'm going to meet Emma. <laughs> yeah, Tyler has has a pretty significant lead on underwater smoking right now. I hate swimming with Emma, especially that first bomb. Uh, it's yeah. Very easy, but in other difficulties, oh, that's super annoying. Yeah. <laughs> on other difficulties, you've got to take the right angle to just nip over the top of it. To just miss it. Another great thing about very easy is you don't have to worry about that. Just... <laughs> straight line and swim out of there all right so emma hates bugs so you gotta forcefully drag her into the elevator yeah we, we had a small conversation about this yesterday it's it's actually slightly faster in some circumstances to choke emma like in the room underwater smoking's about to go through now the vamp arena 
if you take a very specific line, it's quicker by about a second or two. But if that line is ever so slightly off, you need to do an extra choke on Emma, so end up losing two seconds. So there's no real point in doing it. Alright, Tyler just destroys that guy. Slowly making this exit out of here. Hey guard, don't mi don't mind me. Yeah, we're gonna see Mo. Oh, we don't we don't interact with Mo and very easy. I forgot. That guard doing a great job. He doesn't get paid enough though. <laughs> I mean, it's not like his employers actively sacrificing him when they launch Arsenal. I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> uh, underwater smoking, taking Emma for a little swim. Then he has to go up on the elevator. Extinguishing the flames. And making his way to strut L. So he destroys that guy, and Tyler is out of AK ammo. So he's probably going to use the SOCOM later. Yeah. I don't know that he does. Stop there we go. Yeah, that's one of the instances I'm talking about where it's actually a decent amount quicker to choke Emma there. Yeah, because you move faster choking her than if you were just holding her hand. Yeah, it's just when you have to repeat choke her um, to reset that little timer is when it ends up slower. So in instances like that where you don't need to do it, it's so much quicker. This is a very easy, it's kind of a chill time, a little downtime. You just have almost infinite ammo, and you just yeah. take down the take the guards, the uh, ciphers. Especially if you just stand on the uh, PSG one ammo spawn as well. Mm -hmm. Very easy. You don't have to worry about diazepam, right? Because your aim. Uh, I'm fairly certain. Yeah. Sway back and forth. That's another thing you can just don't have to worry about menuing that. Yeah. And that's one way you can always tell uh, people who played MGS one first as opposed to MGS two diazepam versus pentazamin. Ah uh, yeah. <laughs> always always mix up those two. <laughs> I, I did the same because I played Metal Gear Solid 2 first when I went back to Metal Gear Solid 1 I was always calling Diazepam Pentaz every time oh the runner himself says he will go so calm okay heard it from the horse's mouth <laughs> or finger maybe Tyler will get his revenge on the uh, the seagulls for ruining his cypher run oh he's trying to get one yeah and, and, oh he missed missed Oh no! <laughs> Look at the single! Oh, he got him. There we go. Someone called Peter. That seagull was not gonna let him shoot him. Slowly drifting. And one one, I'd like to talk to Peter. <laughs> There's a guy named Tyler2022. Senselessly murdering seagulls in a video game from 2001. In 2020, sir, not 2022. No, you don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that's that's one good thing about this uh, this run being uh, all the runners having so much distance between them is that we're not sitting in this dead time for too long because uh, Tyler's going to be exiting. Uh, this fairly shortly. Emma's about halfway through it. 
while uh, underwater small kins just entering it. And this will sort of give us a gauge of just how far ahead Tyler is, because as an auto scroller, if there's if you do everything perfectly and don't get an alert, the section's about seven and a half minutes, uh, give or take a few seconds. And with Tyler being about halfway through it, and underwater smoking just starting it, Tyler's roughly about three to four minutes ahead right now. Yeah, you can't speed up this area since Emma just slowly walks, but you can slow it down. Yeah. Guards you can slow it down significantly yeah. as well. Uh, guards or Cypher sees Emma and alerts and starts shooting at her. She'll like drop and cover and then when the alert goes away, she'll slowly stand back up and start walking again. So Yeah. You can even slow it down just by looking at Emma. Don't look at her. Because she'll look fall away. over. Look away. I mentioned this to Tyler yesterday actually is um back when we used to when we didn't know the it would automatically position you for vamp 2 and we all used to aim at that spot mm -hmm. every single time i aimed at that spot emma would just come into view and fall over just before hitting the trigger every single time all right who's new in chat Aiden's mine what's up uh dim pixel what's up what's up All right, nothing to look at here. Just chilling, waiting for yeah. Emma to cross the... Oh, don't look at the sun, it's too bright. Ah, oh, Tyler simulating the uh, Sons of Liberty thermal goggles, where it's just red hell. I mean, I gotta be honest though, for a game that released 19, almost 20 years ago, it is quite stunning. Gotta be honest. No arguments about that. I mean, like, you, you can see the crust in places, but overall, it holds up really well. Oh, oh, there's Vamp. There we go. Tyler goes with the zoom and the headshot. That's it. There we go. And there's the slowest part of the game over and done with. You don't need to deal with Emma anymore. Yeah, underwater smoking just coming to the hard, hard halfway point now. I guess I'm very easy, that sniping section is either a good thing or a bad thing. Because it's a good thing you just kind of chill, don't have to worry too much. But a bad thing yeah. is because you're just waiting around. Yeah. Oh, Tyler, very... Dog tag? <laughs> 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 I was like, what's he, what's he going in that room for? Then he just shoots over him, then I'm like, oh, he's definitely getting his dog tag. Oh, well played. Uh, he goes with the SOCOM here. Yeah, and, and, and this is where you'll sort of see the, the difference in, in caliber of runner because Tyler's just pulling out the back of strat with the SOCOM instead of the AK. He could have actually got some AK ammo there, but he chose not to get it. I wonder if he's going to try to get the snake dog tag too. Does snake have a dog tag on very easy? I can't remember. I can't remember. Someone, someone looked that up. Does snake have a dog tag in very easy? And will Tyler get it if he does? He does, apparently. But will Tyler get it? I'm thinking he's going to get it. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the, the obligatory winky face from Tyler in chat now. I think Snake, <laughs> either Snake has the snake dog tag or he has the head day. Yeah, Christian there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> What's it on very easy? Is it the Kojima dog tag? I don't actually know. Someone look that up, please. Whose dog tag does Snake have on very easy? So it's gotta be Kojima. With... Probably. As you can see with the uh, the torture section there, uh, you don't even need to press it on any difficulty. That first one, 
you just don't need to press it because even if the oxygen bar runs out, mm. it it just doesn't take any of your health. It's Pliskin on easy according to chat. Kojima's only on extreme and V. Pliskin and, uh, on easy. Yes. Snake on. Oh wait, what? Pliskin on easy. Snake on very easy. Meryl on hard. There We're in go. different. Someone's. We got two people saying Pliskin. One person saying Snake. Nah, Tyler's just gonna have to go for it, and then uh, yeah, then we can yeah. then we can know for sure. <laughs> uh Tyler's not using the white the black borders fix. If he was using no black borders, we'd see uh, Kandal riding. All right, so Tyler trying to make his way out of here. This is where uh, Apache kind of got shot and fell down back to the first level. Hmm. All right, so he's got to get past this guard, and he does. Okay, so he takes out that guard, which won't alert, and no one will shoot him. This is good movement. Good morning. And nothing to do here for Tyler, but take some codec calls yeah just wait, go wait for the codec calls in, in a somewhat specific position if you're too north codec the carries you through the cutscene it's won't trigger and the same goes if you're too far south Jack the Ripper. Mm. so you've just got to be in the, the the sweet spot is is quite big but you know this, still you remember me don't you you've grown <laughs> And here we go. Concentration of cerebral implants. Have they altered your memory too? All right, let's see what he does. So you got to take a swipe with the sword to get the timer going. Oh, yes. he doesn't do it. He's just gliding around. <laughs> the, I love how broken the animations skater. are in this game. This what it reminds me of as a figure skater in the Olympics. Tag Tyler. Olga, you can't keep this up. They're bound to find no, Tyler, no, he's just gonna wait till the very end of the section and go for it. Brace yourself. Yeah, there's there's one thing. It happened to me recently. You can actually reset the timer in this room because there's two timers that go on. Um, one that times the room in general for like in case you don't swipe the sword, and one that starts if you do swipe the sword. Um, and what I actually did recently was I went through the majority of the timer without swiping the sword, accidentally swiped it, restarted the timer. I lost two and a half minutes to that room just for accidentally restarting the timer. So Tyler's going through Tango 1 right now, which uh, is a nice little skip. And then uh, punch, punch, kick, then... As uh, underwater smoking is trying to make his way out, oh, he gets he doesn't go fast enough. Oh, Let's see, hopefully he doesn't fall down. Okay, he gets the little gap. There we go. Tyler is just going with the stinger, taking out these uh, tangus, and I believe there's 40 of them he has to kill. I think so. somewhere around there. JMC says very easy Iroquois. Poliskin. Iroquois. Poliskin. That's not very easy. Yeah. Meryl on the not easy. Solid Snake on normal. Liquid on hard. And Kojima on EX and EU EX. Yeah. I don't think there are any dog tags in Euro Extreme though. Which kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, of course. Alright, so Tyler just trying to kill all these. One left? Oh, there's more than one left. I think he got... More just fell down. Yeah. The underwater smoking is there just getting go. started with the... Just meeting and Snake. Takes swipe too. Oh, Tyler doing a bad and having some cigarettes. Tyler. 
<laughs> Boat runners just wasting time in the monologue sections. <laughs> Foxhound no longer exists. The rank went to Big Boss. <laughs> oh, I remember when that was like the main way to run this game. Oh, yeah. The X Big Boss rank. Oh, that was ba that was back in the days where if you if you ran uh, if you ran normal. You were you wasn't an actual runner of the game, and like everyone runs everything except the UEX. You're not cool Great. with one hero extreme big boss. <laughs> like... Yeah, I wasn't around the time when that happened, but people were telling me that. Yeah. Odds wouldn't even improve runs. <laughs> anything yeah. other than hero extreme on the board. That thankfully, when when I sort of came into the scene, it was just starting to break through to normal. And I'm not I'm not sure how odd oh, oh Tyler beautiful the, the three shot raise. Again three crits. Um yeah, I'm not sure as to how truthful this is. I've only been told it by like one or two people. But when because when I ran normal I just because I've ran the game for years just without actually submitting runs and stuff. Um, and I think the first one I actually submitted was like third place, and apparently that just sort of started to kickstart people into actually looking into normal and start running it. Then, so you're telling me the other difficulties can give me better times? Wait, what? Maybe. Oh, no. That's why. That's why VE is significantly faster than other difficulties because there's just so much. Like, there's so much little to worry about. So little less to worry about, rather. I knew we got the, the codec call I was on about earlier. Yeah, I think if you don't skip it, it takes like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It's so long. Love that codec, too. Mm, it's so good. Because it just cracks everything wide open. It's a development program to artificially reproduce solid snake the perfect warrior the result is a fox getting ready for the solidest fight so you hit him Ooh. until he falls he doesn't go for the then you back away waits for him to shoot the rockets you cartwheel through the rockets and repeat to one of the patriots puppets but i've made use of you and then when he's at half health he goes into his second phase. He gets rid of the Doctor Octopus arms. Yeah, Ventral quest Solidus on PC because he has no facial animations in this cutscene. As bait. Jack, those days during the Civil War were as real as they come. Every day was absolute. Oh, we got elbow as well. Nice. And then you block it again. You ran from it. And that's GG's to Tyler. There we go. What a nice clean run from Tyler. Yeah, 57.02. As underwater smoking is going for the... Uh... Oh, and he gets taken out by one of the... Oh, ow. Ow. Based on that. Are you awake yet, Jack? Oh, that's unfortunate. GW, the Arsenal AI is corrupted beyond repair. I admit that I underestimated you. So yeah, that's uh, Tyler against Underwater Smoking. Who is next? Let's check out the uh, out of you instead, my the bracket. Son. So if I look on the schedule, next is. Do -do 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 -do. Beswick. Oh no, next is Limes and Metal Glen Solid, which is being commentated by Tyler, oh. who just ran on plywood. That should be a good race to watch. So we're into the second round of the. This was the last first round matchup, so we're getting into the second round. D Limes takes on Metal Glen Solid next. That's going to be a good one. Then Beswick versus Mac McD. 
Then you have BNM versus Tyler now. Early prediction. Um, what do you got? D Limes or ooh. Metal Lips Holland? I don't you know. know. That's going to be a close run. That's going to be a close run. I haven't seen much of of Glenn, but what I know of Limes is Limes is extremely consistent. Limes is consistent at, at a high level as well, because for those of you that have seen the boards, Limes pretty much dominates it. <laughs> um, but no, he's he's consistent and he's a very experienced winner, so I think my bet's got to be on Limes for, the, for for the next run. But I, I, you know, it's marathons, upsets happen like we've seen a few times yesterday. Like, anything can happen. Before we know, Limes' PC could crash and he gets a DQ. Good work, Jack. But this is where it gets interesting. We're smoking and finishing up his Solidus boss fight as he goes into the second to last phase. Just charges at him, so you just want to block and then counter. Let's go. The arena, and then he goes through that, you block it, and then you counter. Go away a little bit, charges at you. Oh, he didn't oh. block. That's unfortunate. Oh, he didn't block again. Oh! <laughs> then he didn't block the last one. There shot. we go. And, and, there it is. <laughs> there we go. Okay. GG's to underwater smoking. There we go, I said about four minutes behind. Of course. Wasn't too far off. This is where we first met. I remember now. Yeah, and just for the the small the debate that's going on in chat you. about credit trees, it'll only matter if they're that close. If they're within five seconds or ten seconds of each other RTA, then they'd go to IGT. So if that happened, and then if he had credit trees, there's no credit trees anymore. No, only if you're not using V's fix. Yeah. I believe everyone's using it. Yeah, I, th I think the last person that wasn't using V's fix was myself, but I had my own, like, little fix I did. But I recently lost all my files for Metal Gear Solid 2 related stuff, and just said, ah, screw it, I can't be bothered to to have to redo that and just use V's fix instead. <laughs> So we're just waiting for uh, Underwater Smoke in at the minute now for an interview by the looks. Yep, so Underwater Smoking is joining us for a post match interview. Mm hmm. All right, hello. Here he is. Hello, hello. Hey. Hello. So. What happened? How do you think your uh, <laughs> overall run went? Uh, a couple of a uh, couple of hiccups here and there. Some bad RNG, um, especially at Fat Man and Ames. That was pretty. Yeah, yeah that was really bad. But um, you know, um, I conducted myself well, and even though I am uh, pretty new to uh, running this game, I think I carried myself pretty well, uh, given some hiccups here and there. Yeah, like three three minutes behind a runner like Tyler, that's that's something to be proud of. I think even in in races where me and Tyler were running together uh, or against each other, I was a lot further behind than that on like normal difficulties and stuff like that. Sure, sure. So on, honestly, in your position, I'd be I'd be well happy. <laughs> <laughs> I think the the beginning, um, you fell a little behind on Tanker, and that was yeah. just just movement and stuff, and then yeah. Really kind of opened it up more was the harrier fight yes um harrier yeah, has harrier been something i've always struggled with um i'm still trying to improve myself with harrier so um you know this was a great this was a great opportunity to really uh kind of see where i am in a competitive level you know yeah because think... that's that's the thing about marathons it's it's all about dealing with that rng because it, like um like we said earlier, like PBs are not really indicative to how consistent you are, because things things like that happen where you've got to deal with RNG and you've got to chase Fat Man around a little bit. You miss a, a stinger shot, and 
that that shows where, where your skill level is, and I think you dealt with it quite well. Thank you. The Harrier RNG, specifically. Yeah, Harrier was a little scary, but that was actually the first time I got a die shot. Oh, wow. That was actually, that was actually the very first time ever I've gotten a die shot. So, um, practice paid off for that. <laughs> <laughs> if you clean up that Harrier, and then um, just... The, men the other two things was the menuing. Yes, Tyler I stuck at menuing. <laughs> like, that's just something that comes with playing the game, though. When you're, the more you uh, play the battle, I guess. You were Just when you were done with Fab Man and you were moving his body and taking out the coolant, Like the coolant is always just one slot in your menu. You, it's just one slot down. But you went mm. like all the way around the yeah. item, <laughs> back. So little things like that, I think, just add up to the to just saving you time more. But but it was fun watching you and yeah, absolutely. You know, added, that was that was great. Yeah, menu menuing is always something I'm trying to improve, and especially movement. Yeah, it's always that's, something I'm looking to improve with every yeah, run that, I do. That's that's something that you'll you'll just notice yourself improving on with the more you run. Absolutely. With, with with a run that's so movement heavy and menuing heavy as it opens up, like like we were saying earlier, there's just slight little bits that will save half a second a second but in the course of an hour that stacks up quite significantly it sure does and you know it just comes with with experience and playing the game that's that's all that comes from absolutely yeah tyler has been running this a lot more than you have, so. <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> you keep running and yeah your, your movement and your muscle memory will get there absolutely yeah I mean, I must say it was an honor to be racing against Tyler. I mean, he's a he's a great runner, great guy. Um, yeah, couldn't pick a better guy to race with, you know. Yeah, and and that's the thing. Like, although this is like a competitive marathon, it's still a bunch of fun. And at the end of the day, everyone in this community is is friends. At the end of the day, so. How many participants did we have for this tournament? Like, I don't think 14. I've ever fourteen. I don't think I've ever Ooh. seen. How many participants in a tournament? Yeah. yeah. Yep. GSR. This has been our uh, highest participation tournament uh, in the history of this community. So very exciting wow. stuff. And yeah, great I want to wish uh, Underwater Smoking and Tyler, Tyler a GG as we move Thank you. into the quarterfinals.